That's a big one. 5 8 Whitworth, I think. Another 5 8 Whitworth. That looks like a UNF. This is for David Goodnight, who specifically asked me for a video of me sorting nuts and bolts. Why you would want a video of me sorting nuts and bolts, I don't know, but I hope that makes you happy, David. Um, I'll leave this for another time anyway. If you look around, you'll notice that I'm not in the same garage that I was in a few months ago, and that's because we moved house. Now, of course, moving house is a bit tricky, and that's why I haven't put a film up for a while. And I've brought the cars with me, so while this space is small, I still have some room to work. The first thing you'll notice is that I've upholstered this back section of the Healy here. Uh, the second thing you'll notice is that the Healy is with me. Now, of course, that means that I had to drive it. Uh, so the Healy went for its first drive to get to this new address. And that really wasn't the way that I had intended to do it. I'd hoped to have something that was um, a bit more of a, an occasion, if you will, to do that. So anyway, it's here. I'm here and my uh, good wife filmed me doing this on her uh, iPhone. So what follows in this video is the upholstery of this piece here and the trip in the Healy to this address. Uh, the first bit of the upholstery uh, video is missing because uh, I had a problem with the camera. So we pick it up as I've started it. Well, there's the first little bit of backing cloth put on. I'm using my trusty roller there to try and just get it to flatten down. It's, um, it's quite cold here today, so I might take this up uh, into the house by the fire and just uh, let this dry off a little bit because um, I think it's going to struggle. It's a bit cold out here to, for the glue to dry. Um, but I've left enough here, as you can see, to go over, um, and enough here as well, so I can trim all that off afterwards. Well, I started off by tacking the underside of the rear um, just along there, and I'm using tacks for this rather than staples because I can pull them out a bit easier. And at the moment, I'm not driving them all the way home. It seems to me that. We start on the bottom um, and afterwards this will come around and cover this. So it's, as you can see, not bad. It's coming up slowly, reasonably straight. Um, important to make sure all the flutes are straight. This then will come around side there like that and underneath. A little bit of a mess at the moment, a bit hard to see, but what I have to do now is pull over this top section here and nail that down into there into this piece here and then this has a little cover piece over there which um, covers it up and I've got to get this seam across the top here pretty straight which is difficult and again as I said before the white seams um, tend to show everything the white okay. piping well and um, I've fixed on this top bit around underneath here with some tacks, just a few. I'll put a few more in there just to get a nice straight line over there. Um, this edge is okay, uh, not perfect, but then it is handmade. Um, and the bottom section I've gone over as well. And again, there aren't a full amount of tacks in there, but I'll have to do that. I just wanted to tack it into place at the moment. So really, um, it has sort of come up okay, uh, I think. I think that's fine. Um, I guess it's pretty uh, much to expect that the cover would fit like a glove. Again, of course, um, it's a kit. Came from AH Spares, like most of my stuff has, and I made the backrest myself, as you know, so it's probably a bit much to expect it all to fit perfectly, and it's never going to unless I have literally have it tailor-made. But the fit is good. Um, I'm pleased with it. It's got a bit of character. The piping is pretty straight. Um, very important to make sure these lines are straight. I had to undo it a couple of times because I found myself sort of wandering very slightly crooked on those, but um, they've turned up all right. Now I have to tackle these uh, side pieces here, which have to go around inside there, and I'm not 
quite sure how I'm going to do that, so um, watch this space, I guess. Well, there we go. Um, pretty well done. Fits in the car really well. I've still got to make up a little cover strip just to go along to cover these tacks up here. This section here I've tacked along the bottom. Don't like it much, but it's not seen and it's quite neat. Um, these corners here were the hardest to do really, to get all the fullness out of that, but I think I'm pretty pleased with that. It looks good from the front. Not all that pleased with some of this here. Um, you can see there's a little bit of fullness in that. Can't really get rid of it. Uh, it's just the shape of the cover uh, compared to the shape of uh, the actual back. Um, there's just obviously a slight variation there and if the back was slightly wider here it would fit a little bit better but as I said before unless you get them tailor-made they are never going to fit absolutely perfectly but I think um, I'm pleased with that uh, it's a good day's work and I haven't done anything on the car for a while and um, I'm about to get tyres fitted so that'll that'll be the next thing and I've made up a little wheel alignment gadget uh, which I'll show you in the next video thanks for watching
hit the exhaust pipe. Did it? Yeah. They're always low to the ground and it just scraped on the back there. You're here. First yeah. drive. So I never got to push it quite hard. It's hard to judge. <laughs> 